we want to talk about tests that determine a patient's fertility, treatment, and prognosis. As a reproductive endocrinologist, an important part of the evaluation that I do are tests to determine a patient's prognosis and treatment options. One of the tests that gives me an idea of a woman's chance of pregnancy is a test of what's called her ovarian reserve. As we all know, a woman is born with all of the eggs that she'll ever have, and over the course of her life, every month she ovulates one egg. Eventually, there's a depletion in the supply of eggs, and the menopause occurs. This is a slow and a natural process, and the test of the ovarian reserve allows me to determine where in this process every patient is and what her chances of pregnancy might be. By measuring a blood test on the third day of the menstrual cycle for a hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, that comes from the pituitary in the brain, as well as a hormone called estradiol, which comes from the ovaries, I can determine what a patient's ovarian reserve is and determine what the best treatment will be to achieve a pregnancy. In addition to the test of ovarian reserve, I do two other tests. One is called a hysterosalpingogram, which is a test to determine the shape of the uterine cavity and whether the fallopian tubes are open or closed. And the final test that I'll do is a semen analysis, which is our best test of male fertility. The semen analysis involves quantification of the sperm count, movement, and shape. Combining these three tests, the ovarian reserve assessment, the hysterosalpingogram, and the semen analysis, allows me to determine the patient's prognosis and choose the best treatment option to allow her to have a pregnancy.